Catch Aids of Heavy Metal Picker here. Maryland Death Fest 2022. I'll be going. A lot of people are asking, is Baltimore safe? Is it okay to park my car near the venues? Is it okay to walk around in this area or that area? The elephant in the room is violent crime and property crime. If you dare ask if Baltimore is safe, someone is going to call you the R word. Woke white people don't know whether to deny that there is a significant crime issue in Baltimore or to make excuses for it like poverty or institutions or systems. Baltimore is an extraordinarily violent and crime infested city by American standards. If you don't believe me, you don't believe the statistics, you might go and uh, find out for yourself. Sure, you may be able to get away with a week there, uh, meet, meet a bunch of nice people, go home with your body and your belongings intact. But it only takes one bad person to ruin your day or ruin your life. And chances are, you'll find that person in Baltimore much more likely than you would in most American cities. I know uh, this is a no-shit Sherlock statement, but if you're drunk, it'll be much easier for you to become an e easy victim. As far as my personal experience in Baltimore, I've probably spent two and a half months of my life in Baltimore. Uh, no, nothing bad happened to me. I once walked by myself from the Greyhound station at night to Harbor Hospital in Cherry Hill. I don't recommend doing this. I could feel the stairs, hear the whispers. Yeah, but nothing ha happened to me. I once walked with a couple of buddies while blackout drunk from Fells Point to my Airbnb in West Baltimore. Yeah, definitely don't do that. You want to know where I stayed? Look up 643 North Cary Street. Cary is in Drew Cary. It's like Chernobyl but with uh, crackheads running around in it and around the crumbling buildings around it. So yeah, that was that was extraordinarily dangerous. I'm sure I could have made that uh, that walk a few times, but eventually, if, if I had done it often enough, something eventually bad would have happened. Now, the Airbnbs that I've stayed at in Baltimore, they all had warnings all over the place like, do not walk around the neighborhood, don't open the door, don't ride the bus, things like that. Now, at this event, at least one band is going to get all their gear ripped off. It's going to happen. At least one concert goer, if not several, will be victims of violent crime. It's going to happen. And hey, it could be me. I'll sum it up by saying I believe it's uh, still worthwhile to go to this event. There's no need to cower from or avoid people who look different from me. But uh, I will take extra security precautions that I otherwise would not have taken in other American cities. So here's my plan. I'm leaving my stuff at the hotel. I plan on leaving my car at the hotel uh, or the Airbnb. A uh, somewhat decent hotel or Airbnb would be good. Um, uh, Baltimore's uh, neighborhoods, they, they, they could have a nice neighborhood sandwiched right next to a bad neighborhood. That's just how it is there. But uh, I'm, I'm okay with taking the bus there and back. I haven't uh, decided exactly where to stay at. But I recommend hotels near the airport in Glen Burnie or perhaps some affluent, somewhat affluent uh, neighborhood like Parkville. Uh, one other point I would like to make, I hear that some Airbnb hosts might cancel your reservation if you're telling them you're going to Maryland Death Fest. This leads me to believe that there is quite a few of us who conform to negative stereotypes. Stereotypes exist for a reason. Rather than whining about how ignorant uh, that person is or whatever, it might be a good idea not to conform to said stereotypes. So tell me what you think. Tell me what your travel plans are. Tell me what uh, travel plans you're making or not making. Tell me about your personal experience in and around Baltimore. I'd be interested in hearing.